Hello everyone. It is July 3rd. You guys will see this July 4th though. Okay, go ahead and sit down. I'm not gonna tell her because the little girl knows. We do this every time. There's never a time when she is allowed to play and she does not sit. So I'm gonna let it wait for her to make the decision. Good girl. She's just ready. That's good. That's extra. Well, you're ready to roll this. Okay. This is like I got my weight on my side. Oh, I don't I didn't bring the water out. Okay you guys. I might have to pause the video to get the water out because they're gonna get tired pretty much immediately and decide that um yeah they're gonna get tired pretty much ugh, I'm in the wrong shoes. They're gonna get tired pretty much immediately and decide that they're gonna drink some nasty frog infested or which will be that water or um mosquito infested water. Jack being extra per usual. I cannot wait till Patrice decides that he wants to corrupt her. Because Jack is extra. Like she is there's just no way that she's gonna be allowed to keep continue doing it. The dogs aren't gonna accept it. <laughs> like when I get my other dogs, um, it's just gonna be unacceptable. So I might start I mean, look at she stopped, but I might start ah, enough. So it's a bit darker out so you guys might be able to. Be able to see. So that was less of Crate Jack tackling him and more of him just getting tripped up. So for you, I want to get eight up out here, y'all. I'm in a robe. So I do have things to talk about, and I do apologize if you guys don't care. You can mute the video and just watch the dogs play. Um, but um, so that I mentioned news before. I think I don't actually remember. Sometimes, but jeez. Oh, okay. You guys see smoke over there? Oh, I'm not fall over. They're doing fireworks in the next place over. Jack, enough! So I'm correcting Jack because Kratos was scared and I don't want her. I mean, he's fine now, very clearly, but he was kind of running away because he was scared. Good jeez, you guys. I'm sorry for ever. <laughs> that scared me. I thought something. Well, honestly, I, I kind of figured it was a firework, but I just thought that I went off in the wrong space. Huh. I actually, this is my first time over here, living in this area for the 4th, so I'm kind of curious to see how things will go on. Um, but yeah, so, I'm not what I was going to talk about, but for tomorrow the 4th, um, I'm going to be hanging around here until like 1, then I'm going to leave and head to Chicago. I'm just going to do a day with me and Paco, mostly because I'm going to hang out with family, and most of my family is actually scared of dogs. And they can tolerate Paco because he's tiny, but any these dogs here... Not so much. And so, um, so I'll be taking Paco. We'll probably hang around on that end for a good uh, four to five hours. Possibly less, but four to five hours is my max. And then we'll, we'll head back out. So I'll be gone for about seven hours in total. It takes me an hour to... <laughs> it takes me an hour to get there and an hour to get back naturally. They're doing actually really well. But I do have to keep this in mind for, for later um, because when they're out pottying, they're not had, they're not with a group, so they don't have that confidence of a group when things happen that are, you know, loud. So um, I'll definitely have to be aware. Like I said, I have a fenced yard, and luckily Kratos is not big enough to where he will be able to jump over the fence, but trust me, when he's full grown, he will be able to jump over this fence. And I guarantee you, be scared enough. See, look at that. That is all on him. Oh, Blue is just, just clumsy. Um, <laughs> I mean, it's cute, but he's hurting himself. Um, anyway, he's peeing, by the way. That's why he's looking all pretty and stuff. Hello, pretty boy. Hi, man. What's going on? Um, anyway, uh, so I'll be gone, so like I said, I'll probably try to be back on this end around <coughs> 7 8 o'clock. And you guys are like, <coughs> good jeez. It's 8 o'clock now, so I should be back around this time tomorrow. Um, so hopefully I'll be back before the real stuff kicks up. Because I do want to be home for when the dogs, uh, when people are really starting to pop fireworks. Unfortunately, like I said, people are popping now, so I just won't be home for all of it. But I'll be home for most of it, so like I said, it's before dark now. So, um, you know, I'll be able to kind of be with them and, you know, keep an eye on them. 
during that time, which I do plan on doing. Hello, pretty boy. But like I said, I think they're doing pretty well. I guess especially since it's, uh, considering that Kratos is not the most confident dog, he's actually doing real well. Good jeez. I'm telling you, he can use that weight and um, he can use that weight. I wonder if I'm gonna have to start correcting him for tackling. It seems like a jack to stop. But like I said, I plan on except kind of getting two female dog archery mastiffs, and then I do plan on getting another pet dog. Well, I probably will end up breeding because it's just a dog that's very rare in the U.S. Um, but I always do pets first because I want to see how it is, how they, it is working with them and living with them first before I do anything else. So Kratos has been exceptionally easy in comparison to Jack. I mean, like, Kratos is definitely 100%, not 100%, but 50%, uh, 50% uh, more stubborn than Jack. But there's, there's just things about him that I prefer. Like I said, he's a very chill dog. He doesn't pull on walks because he doesn't really care about meeting other people. Um, okay, he doesn't really care about meeting other people. Um, I mean, dogs, he does tend to pull, but, you know, they'll come, you know, with this practice and training. Um, I don't know, he's just a very sweet boy. He's a very mellow boy. He's not such high energy that I have to worry about a, a fight breaking out. Because so Jack's a really nice baby. She's a really nice, sweet girl. But she has too much energy. And unfortunately, that, with the wrong dog, can, um, you know, definitely spark a fight. Um, so, yeah. But then she's very friendly, and I don't, like... At where she is now, if she approaches the dog, I don't think it's going to be, it's going to be, um, you know, negative, like she wants to pick a fight. But unfortunately, the energy that you bring when approaching, or an energy that a dog brings when approaching another dog, same with people. Like if somebody comes up to you and it's just all on your face and acting crazy, whether or not they have good intentions or not, there's going to be a person who's going to like walk away and move away from it. There's going to be the person who's just like, nah, son, get out of my face and punch him. You know, it really depends on the dog, like it depends on the people, uh, person. And unfortunately, Jack is just the type of dog that would irritate that dog that doesn't want to deal with that mess. And so it would break out to the fight and whatever. Um, and Kratos, I think as an adult that he is definitely going to be the dog who's going to be like, nah, don't test me. He just seems like he has that kind of energy now. But he's a puppy, so he's still, he still wants to play, but he does seem like he's going to get that. You, you want some water, man? Okay. He's not going for this nasty water here, but I am just aware that um, he is coughing. I'm not sure. It might be the smoke. Uh, the smoke from the, the um, firework has traveled over here. And um, so, yeah. I'm really hoping that there's no fires. Because my water hose, y'all, does not work. Like So the water, so apparently the owners or the inspector, I can't actually remember which one, um, but they left the water running over this past winter, and the water line burst and I was gonna I tried to have my dad fix it but my dad is always up here doing a million one other things and so he actually never came back up here to fix it like he he was staying up here for a night he went back down to Chicago to do some other things he's supposed to come back up but he never actually came back he decided to stay down there and drive further south to where he actually stays um so and now he's taking care of my grandfather and so um you know my grandfather needs basically daily 24-hour care my dad's his caretaker and so anywhere my dad goes, my grandfather has to go. And so it's just, it's really rough to move him around. And he's on dialysis too, what, four times a week? And it's just crazy. So my dad's busy. So hopefully I don't need, um, sorry, I was going to call him cute. He is cute. Kratos is always cute. Hopefully I don't need my, my water hose because I just will not have it. Um, but anyway, um, I have no clue what I was talking about, guys. This is going to be a theme where I just completely lose my train of thought. Um, but yeah, but basically, I'm gonna just go back, backtrack to the whole fourth. Um, basically I'll probably try to be home at around this time. So the whole actual night of the fourth, I'll actually be here for. So, so I do want to stick around, you know, because otherwise the dog's going to be in their kennels. going to be inside in the kennels. Separate kennels, of course. Um, I don't want them to, first, I don't want them to feel like they can play in their kennels together because I don't want to allow that. Um, and then second of all, I don't want, you know, I've never seen the dogs do it, but sometimes when dogs are scared, they kind of react, you know. Um, you've probably seen dogs that are like like fence reactive, or uh, there's leash reactive. There's, um, I guess, fence reactive. I guess is the term, but basically they are so frustrated that they can't get to where they want that they redirect, and they'll they'll attack anything that's nearby. So whether that's the, it might be the the leash itself, it might be another dog in the area, it, whatever it is, they're going to attack that out of frustration because they're not able to get to what they actually want, 
and I've never seen these dogs do it. I mean, Kratos seems like he did it the first day he was here, but he's like, he's never done it, like, out. And then the first day, I got Kratos when he was seven weeks old, right? So he was young. He did that once, and it was his first day, right? The boy was a very unhappy puppy. <coughs> <coughs> Yeah. <coughs> I don't know what happened there. I didn't swallow anything. <coughs> Sorry, man. Sorry, guys. I am spitting, so I want to make sure I don't actually swallow anything. <coughs> <coughs> Try to be quiet about it, because I know sometimes that's like really gross to some certain people, like myself. <clears throat> <clears throat> myself, I don't like the sound of gagging. <clears throat> I don't like anything that revolves puking. <clears throat> I just got a freaking itch in my throat. <clears> throat> <clears throat> <clears throat> Sorry guys, I don't know what happened. talking about? Kratos, what was I talking about? <clears throat> Before I start choking. On air. Ah, ah. Jack. Good girl. <clears throat> okay, I can't remember what I was talking about. I think I was talking about my line, my water. Basically, basically somebody <clears throat> either during the the inspection process or before that they left the water hose running <coughs> and so it got really cold in the water line bus oh, good jeez bugs you think hey enough so they grazed me a bit i'm telling you the dogs don't be looking where they're going oops sorry folks i'm all yelling <coughs> um anyway <coughs> So I don't have a water hose to take out of any fire, so I want to be here if a fire does break out, so I can either try to control it or call police. <clears> throat> Sorry, I'm still trying to clear my throat. Man, I'm getting ate up. <clears throat> Anyway, you guys, and, um, but yeah, so that's the plan for tomorrow. <clears throat> um, so yeah, I don't think, I mean, honestly, I think Jack, for the most part, is also going to grow out of it, but, like I said, I want to have larger dogs, and from what I tell the dogs, they're mastiffs, they probably are going to be, like, the leaders, they're going to try to control things, and they are going to try to control Jack, so... So she will be corrected by the other dogs when I get, whatever I get them. I mean, even though she's the oldest, <clears throat> and they'll definitely be younger than her. Um, once they're old enough to realize that, okay, we're breeding females, we're older, we're larger, I mean, we're not older, we're larger than her. They're going to definitely con try to control the situation. And while maybe Jack can probably outmaneuver one dog, two, like more dogs correcting her. Of course, I wouldn't let it get out of hand. Like, let me just say that. It's not going to happen. But I'll definitely be able to remind her to keep her energy down, which is what I'm looking for. And maybe Kratos will do it. <clears throat> Once he's big enough and mature enough. But he's a while to go. <coughs> <coughs> Sorry, I have to tickle my back of my throat still. Alright, exactly I was talking to us before. So I mentioned... <clears throat> I mentioned, um... I mentioned um, good news, I believe. I don't remember if I actually did because the thing is, is that sometimes my my storage right um, on my phone is weird, and it says that <clears throat> it will say that I have no storage and cut off the video very soon after I start making it. So I don't actually know. I usually those p b bits and pieces if they're not actually sub you know substantial video quality or video recordings. If it's not long enough, I'll just delete it and start over. I'm so sorry, you guys. <clears throat> Still, I feel like I have a tickle in this throat. I don't know what I'd happen. Oh, I didn't swallow anything. 
or inhale anything, I guess. <clears throat> anyway, um, what was I saying? Oh yeah, um, what was I saying? Oh, and there's Jack, um, bounced over the fence. Sorry you guys missed it. Fiddles might join her or she might jump out herself. But I'll just, I'll keep an eye out. <clears throat> Oh, they're tired though. This is a little bit of a hot day. I mean, it's, it's, it's cooling off now. The sun's flying down. But. <clears throat> anyway, guys. Uh, what was I talking about? I'm so sorry. This has been a horrible recording. Ooh. Um. Mm, mm, oh, yeah. Okay, I was talking about how I think that the other dogs will help control Jack's energy. Because it's very unhealthy energy. Like, you guys can see it. And it's very pit bull of her. Especially a game pit bull, a working pit bull. But it's unhealthy for a pack. So anyway, anyway, end of that. <clears throat> so the news that I was talking about originally. In one of my videos, I mentioned that I had some good news that I didn't want to talk about because I wasn't sure if it was for sure. But it is for sure. So I have finally, finally, finally gotten a better job. Um, <clears throat> so as you guys might have known, I don't know how much I've talked about this, guys. I'm sorry. I might be repeating information. This might be new for y'all. But basically, um, 20, 2020, I lost my job. Look, I just got a job in 2020, which I thought was pretty good. I was in Chicago. Um, <clears throat> it was something I was living closer to Chicago. And then, uh, so I got the job February of 2020. Uh, March 2020, we're working from home. So training just went down. And long story short, I had to leave the job, right? <clears throat> um, I and left the job like a month after I got the house. <laughs> it was so sad. But I had savings. I had a lot of savings left saved up. <clears throat> and so I was able to basically be okay until about March when I ran out of money and I was actually I ran out of money. Let's just say that <clears throat> But I got a job in April uh, beginning of April. I got a job um, and It's a temp agency that I was working for and um, the about this temper agency is that they had when I first They didn't pay. They don't they didn't pay well um, <clears throat> And of course there's no benefits because it's temp um, But basically they um, <clears throat> Um, sorry, I'm trying to see what Jack's doing over there. The neighbors are over there. I mean, she can't jump the fence, but I'm just making sure everything's okay. Anyway, <clears throat> so when I first interviewed for the job, they're like, oh yeah, this is likely to be a full-time, you know, we won't have to go back in the office, be full-time remote, this and the other. And that's what I wanted because in order to do what I want to do with the dogs, um, it just would work better if I could work from home. Like, I'd be able to do with the, I mean, like, work with the dogs, do training, um, be able to take them out, potty training, all that other great stuff. And of course, whenever I have puppies, which is years and years down the line, like I said, I had to do health testing. This little boy's not health tested yet. <clears throat> I don't have any females. Uh, Kittles has to be at least two years old before he can breed. Um, I, again, don't have any females to even have puppies. So it's a long way coming. Um, and the females have to be two years of age, and I will be getting them as puppies because I do have a little small chihuahua. And uh, since I do think that I plan on keeping small dogs in my pack, um, just so, just for training purposes, um, you know, <clears throat> I plan on keeping small dogs and therefore I like to kind of have puppies be raised around the small dogs. It's just easier to teach a puppy how to behave around small animals like cats and dogs, or cats and smaller dogs, than it is to teach an adult dog not to chase. Like, it's just easier to train a puppy than it is a larger dog, right? <clears throat> it's not impossible, but it's just easy. Easier. Anyway, you gonna pop over again, Miss Lady? <clears throat> anyway, so, um, so working from home was just kind of my deal. So I'm like, you know what, this doesn't pay as much, but you know what, if they hire me full time, which they planned on, they said they were going to do after three months. Um, cause like they basically, they, that's the way they said it. And also <clears throat> you don't, you're not eligible for certain kind of benefits unless you've been working there for three months. Anyway, so like I was kind of, okay, like three months, I'll be hired full time, get a little bit of a raise <clears throat> and then I'll be able to work from home and have a full time work from home job where I have full benefits, right? So, I am about to hit three months. So my th end of my three month contract was technically, is it will technically be next week, this upcoming week <clears throat> on Wednesday. Um, and, but like a week or two ago, I got a notification and not, and it wasn't the whole, oh, let's hire you full time notification I was waiting for. It was, oh, you know, we wanna extend your contract. And so at first I'm just like, okay like and i was very confused because the thing is is that they have been hiring the same people for this role <clears throat> ever since i started so back in april when i started 
they have been hold, hold, hiring the same pe more people for the same role. So it was still temporary, but they've been hiring people for this role all over the country, you know, ever since then. Like, they have continued to be training. So, and I know this because the person who trained me has been in contact with me, and she has made it very clear that, you know, she's just been training every week. I still keep up with her, even though I'm not in training phase anymore. <coughs> she's made it very clear that she's been training new people every, like, every week since I started. And so, um, so, and on top, down on top of the fact that they decided that they were going to extend the contract, for me, it's just like, okay, you guys aren't serious about me working full time. You guys don't want to hire full time employees. You just want a whole bunch of temps that you guys don't have to pay benefits for, and you guys have to pay at a low wage, right? And on top of that, I, because <clears throat> I originally asked for a raise, you know, they're going to be extending my contract instead of full, hire me full time. And so the manager of the company that I work for, because I go, I went through a temp agency to get this job. Um, so I talked to Tim Agency first because that's how they want to, want to do things. But the manager decided that she was going to directly talk to me. And so, <clears throat> so she's like, yeah, you know, um, well, we could get you a full-time role doing this other job. That was, it's, it's a bit out of my scope. Not in the fact that I couldn't do it, but <clears throat> it was basically, I, one of my things that I do is I take calls, right? <clears throat> Are you looking for water, mama? Oh, poor babies. Let me get you some water. Ah, ah Kratos, you better not. Are you going towards the little thing of the nasty water? <clears throat> All right, pause on story time while I get the baby some water. Guys, I am back. They have fresh water. <clears throat> All right, so back to the story time. Um, so basically, so basically, what I do is I kind of do outbound calls for our, the client, the company's clients, and I do like email management and whatever. Very, very basic job. <clears throat> A very basic job, right? <clears throat> why are you following me? Is that why not? And so, um, little boy sticking water. And so, um, so the other end of it would be incoming calls, which is about a lot harder because, hey, Jack, enough. It's a little harder because, um, you know, you don't really know what the client's gonna call about, right? It can be a million and one different things. Um, <clears throat> and so basically incoming calls is harder but she'll, she said yeah you know we can't give you a raise for this next part of the contract however we could get you this incoming call job full time but it'll be the same wage or the same amount that I was getting paid now which is not a lot like let me tell you and on top of that <clears throat> she said that yeah and then also you know I know we said that it might be full time remote but it's not going to be and she tried to tell me that it wasn't going to be that bad of a drive, but it was literally an hour drive to get to the office. <coughs> I mean, they're doing a hybrid thing, which is pretty cool, but like it's an hour away. So that's an hour there, hour back that I just can't use. And that means that I'll be gone for 10 hours every day if I took the job and whatever. So after that, kind of figured out that they weren't really serious about hiring me full time, A, and that they wanted to come into the office at least three to four times a week. At least, I think it was two to three times a week, at least two to three times a week. Um, I decided to look for another job and I have never been the best at interviewing. I've never been the best at talking <laughs> in general. You guys gotta keep in mind, I don't know if you guys think that I talk well. I talk really fast and I also talk even faster when I'm nervous, which of course for interviews I always am. Um, can you guys get my face? Like really, rude. I'm talking about these bugs. Anyway, um, <coughs> so I just did not expect uh, to be able to get a job quick enough, but I did ex accept the contract extension. Because, um, sorry, just make sure it doesn't go too crazy. I did accept the contract extension because, um, because I just better not be over there drinking that ass. Okay, you better not be drinking that water. I did not just bring fresh water. I literally just filled the bowl up with nice, cool water. Nice, cool, fresh, drinkable water. Oh, that actually almost gonna run to the bowl. That would teach them to be gentle. Kratos for sure needs to learn because the thing with Kratos is he's he wants to escape and everything, but I don't know if he's just not aware of his size or if he thinks he can just push past everything because of his size. But little boy cannot. And that's how he gets hurt. Just not aware of his size. Yeah, they have the two dogs over there in there. Dogs are playing, so they're interested. <clears throat> anyway, guys. 
So, um, but I was able to do, uh, I had two interviews. So I had one interview for this one job that was full-time remote. And I like, I really wanted the job naturally, but I wasn't like, I was just like, I have never been good at interviewing. So I'm just not sure if I'm gonna get the job. So, um, so I had an interview with one person on Wednesday, had an interview with two different people from the same, from the same company, but two separate interviews on Thursday. And I got the, I got the offer that Thursday and I was super excited. But I was kind of worried about it because in one of the interview in the interview with one of the people, they're like, based on your clientele, uh, how many clients you have depends on how much you get paid, right? So I'm just like, okay, so do I have a base pay and you guys add on to it? Like, what's the situation? Like, do I have to work for my, my clients and all that stuff? But it's like, you know, it was it that kind of role where I don't actually for sure get this amount of money, but I could possibly get that amount of money. Um, <clears throat> but it turns out, I'm not sure if it's still that way, but basically it turns out I do have a base amount and the base amount is absolutely amazing. I have an amazing role that I just didn't think I'd be able to have um, at the age that I am in. Uh, amazing opportunity as a full-time work from home role, um, full, you know, full benefits and everything like that. And, um, and yeah, it's, 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 I don't, I don't know if you guys are, you know, religious, but it's been a blessing, lucky, whatever you guys want to call it, but I'm a religious person. So like I said, I feel very blessed to be able to do this. Um, <clears throat> and so be able to have this opportunity. So it's a great job. Um, I'll definitely be able to pay <laughs> for everything I need to fix and more. Um, so I am looking forward to that. I am looking forward to that. I mean, it's going to take me some time. Oh, look at that structure! It's going to take me some time to, um, you know, build up my my wealth. I usually have savings that I can fall back on to, which I definitely used up all of during the time I was unemployed. Um, which, of course, I was looking for a job that entire time, but just just wasn't able to find one. Um, but I need to get back my savings up. But you know, long story short, things are going well, and. Um, yeah, so I look forward to some changes in the future. Not sure how soon the changes are going to be, but there'll be changes. You can see Creatures is doing a little bit a lot better with the dogs on the other side of the fence. I mean, his tail's up and whatever, whatnot, but he's doing good. Maybe we had that one incident. Well, I, I had to talk about it in story time, but that one incident where try, he tried the fence fight, put him on the side once, never had issues with him. Never had any issues going for it, which I think is just surprising. I just like, I don't know if I said this before, but Creatures has been such an easy dog for me. Like, for being a intact male Dogo Jason Mastiff, I thought I was going to have a lot more issues just with training-wise. But he's been so much easier. I mean, in comparison to Jack, anyway. But even just, and just my expectations, is just, he's completely just not, has fallen, sh not, not fallen short. Because he's an amazing dog. But I just, I was, I thought I would have so much more trouble with him. But, baby boy is an easy baby. <coughs> anyway, you guys. So yeah, so that's my good news is I got a new job. I mean, it was a long story that was basically summed up and I got a new job, but um, it is gonna allow me to have more flexibility. And I'm not near ready to do anything extra. Like I really need to focus on my house and building up my savings again. So, you know, nothing crazy is gonna happen yet. Um, I will say, since I can talk about it, I was gonna do this as a surprise, but I was supposed to get a female import um, this September. But unfortunately, they have this ban, not ban, but restriction for imported dogs in certain countries. And this country that this dog was coming from was one of the part of the restricted dogs. And so, um, which is fine. Like, I, I kind of figured that I kind of didn't want the dog to come at four months of age. Because four months of age is pretty old. And I kind of, I mean, I do eventually do want to get imports. Like, don't get me wrong. But um, I just think that there's, there's, there's a good part of training that I would like to have. Uh, with a younger dog, you know, a good part of training that I don't want to miss out on. I mean, it's definitely like, an, I think an older dog would definitely be better for me in regards to potty training and stuff. But, um, but in regards to just like getting them used to like my rules and stuff and getting interrogated with other dogs, especially since these dogs are kind of, they're, 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 they're still young, you know what I'm saying? So just in regards to that, I think it's better to get a smother, like a younger dog. Uh, I don't want to get a dog who kind of is like already feeling themselves. Because, like, a puppy, a puppy puppy will come in and be like, okay, you know, I am the youngest, I am the smallest, I need to behave, right? Um, and, um, even four months old is not that large, is not that old. Uh, that female's definitely going to be bigger than Jack, or her size. And so, um, or right at her size, like, 
I, I mean, I don't know. Maybe not bigger, but either at her size or just slightly smaller, but big enough to be like, okay, maybe I could test this dog. And I don't want that to happen. I want it to be gradual. I don't want that to be the first interaction. I want to be like, okay, I am a puppy first and then kind of have the progression of growth within the pack. Um, so I will be looking for probably one of my females is Elise is going to be the next time I get anyway, is probably going to be a female. And you go away. Do you see I'm recording? Sorry guys. I know you guys don't know what I'm talking about, but these mosquitoes are out here trying to eat me. Um, <clears throat> hello, pretty lady. What's going on? There's fireflies out. I'm not sure if Jack ever, like notices them. Oh, she definitely does? Question mark? I don't know. I kind of feel like she definitely does. I don't know if you guys see the fireflies out. Can you guys see them? Maybe? I don't know if you guys can see them. But, um, anyway, so I, I really actually want to get this area to be the potty area sooner rather than later. So I might start saving for that. <coughs> but I also, um, made a new friend in the area and we are talking about like saving to go on a trip to go somewhere and um and us of course because outside it's just extra expenses but i actually don't know if i'll be doing that this year I, I, actually i know i won't be doing that this year so but uh but yeah i really want to get this area to be potty area because like i said cleaning up mess and grass is very hard <laughs> very hard um yeah that's that's basically it you guys i don't know there's probably something else i want to talk about but i totally forgot um but yeah that's where we are right now so things are going good you guys um like i said the job is really going to be helpful since i can work from home and allows me to be able to work with the dogs and when i have a litter of puppies be able to be with a litter of puppies um it's a really awesome opportunity for me with a pay that i just didn't think i could i could get at just my age and my experience level but um but i'm excited for the role and um I'm excited. I don't know. So good things in our future, hopefully. Um, but but yeah. So anyway, guys. Oh, dirty boy. Anyway, guys. I will talk to you guys later. Uh, this is a, like a almost 30 minute long video, and the babies are rightfully tired, which I appreciate. Oh, you guys know it's fireflies. One thing about the dogs I can say is that I really appreciate that they are willing to kill the bugs that come into the house which by kill i definitely mean eat i don't know why they have to eat everything that moves up oh, yep jack definitely sees the fireflies <laughs> too cute i don't know if kittles will catch on <clears throat> you catching the fireflies out here mama look at them baby girl look at them it's on bonus um but yeah i don't know the babies are tired which i like I can go inside and relax for the rest of the night and not have to worry about this little guy getting into stuff. I mean, I have gates and stuff, but like I said, he's still at the age where if he's bored enough, he's going to get up and um, try to find something to do. So, Did you just see that firefly? I don't know. Anyway, guys, I'll let you guys go. I don't actually want to go inside right now. I don't want to hang out a bit more, but I'm gonna I'm gonna be eating up. I don't know. I hope the smoke from the fire from the fireworks will chase away the mosquitoes for a little bit. <clears throat> I don't know how accurate that will be though. <coughs> what is that sound? Who's making noises? What critters are making those noises? Nope, the mosquitoes are still out. All right, guys. The babies, I guess, are rightfully tired. They're not doing anything else. Why are you leaning against me? You are your big babies. You are your big babies. Fun fact: Critters is the only dog that I have that would be in the shower in the bathroom with me while I'm showering and actually try to get in the tub with me. All the other dogs will peek in. Well, Pop won't peek in. Pop will stay on the other end of the, the of the the bathroom. Jack will peek in. Cradle's the only dog that will actually actively try to hop in the shower with me. Fun fact. Anyway, guys, thank you for joining us. Um, please have a safe holiday this weekend. And I will talk to you guys later. Goodbye.